Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and today we're gonna be reviewing the Fitbit Flex. As always, if you're interested in this product and want more reviews, specifications, and pricing, the link is in the description down below. Anyway, let's get started. So for those of you that don't know, the Fitbit Flex is basically a fitness tracking band. And what it allows you to do is basically track your daily activity, your steps, your sleeping patterns, and it ties in with your smartphone or your computer. So I've been using the Fitbit Flex now for about a week, and there's a lot of things that I really like about this band, but there's a couple of things that I don't like and personally are a little bit worrisome to me, especially for people like you who may be interested in purchasing the band. So we'll get into the pros of this and we'll get into the cons a little bit later in the video. So first off, I really like the band itself. It's lightweight, it's rubber, it's waterproof, so you can wear it in the shower, you can wear it swimming, and you don't have to worry about it getting wrecked. I really like the fitting of the band itself. It fits pretty much any wrist size, and in the box they give you a second band, so if you have a smaller wrist, you can use the second band, and just take out the little machine inside, which tracks everything, and you can just pop it into the band that fits your wrist. Now the battery life with the Fitbit Flex is really good. You can get up to five days without a charge, and I'm personally personally past that right now. I'm just going to let this thing go until it dies. We're almost at day six here and this thing is still going. Now this is going to depend on how many times you tap it and show off the LED lights. Obviously it's going to use more power, but it should get you up to five days and charging is really easy. You simply pull out the band, take out the little dongle inside, which is the machine. It might seem a little bit annoying to do that, but in a way it's good because if you ever do burn out the band, you can just purchase a separate band, which are pretty cheap. And then you can put the little machine back inside and you're good to go, brand new band, and you can keep on working out. Now a great feature with this particular band is its sleep mode. If you tap the device a bunch of times, it'll go into a sleep mode and basically it'll stop tracking your steps and now it'll start tracking your sleep. So basically it'll track how many times you move throughout the night, if you're restless, if you're awake, if you wake up, different things like that. And it actually has a way to set up an alarm which will wake you up with a simple vibration on your arm, which all the reviews are saying, which is a great feature, especially if you don't want to wake up your partner or anything like that. Now where things start to transition from good to bad is within the application itself. And I find that the band relies a little too heavily on the tracking application just because you need to use it pretty much for everything. Now it's a great application, don't get me wrong, you can track your steps, you can track your calories, you can track the food you've eaten, your sleeping patterns, implement different activities that you might have done, but really that's gonna take away from the band itself because you're always gonna be on your phone or at home on the computer. And especially if you don't have a smartphone Phone. tracking some of the things you're doing in your day-to-day -day life especially on the go like driving and things like that having to implement those into the application just to get a better accurate tracking on your steps for the day can be a little bit annoying and almost take away from the whole get up and go from the Fitbit Flex now I'm a fairly active person. I like to go to the gym at least three times a week. I do weight training, I do cardio, I play ice hockey. So I'm doing a lot of active things and I find that I can hit my goal or my 10,000 steps really quickly. And personally, I know I haven't done 10,000 steps throughout the day. So that led me to actually testing the application and testing the band itself. And what I noticed is the band isn't just tracking your steps, it's tracking your movement. So just by simply shaking your arm like this, you can actually jump up and get 20, 30 steps in there and really how much work was this? So if I'm working at the computer or if I'm driving, there is a way around this. You can go into the application and simply type in the activity you're doing and then go back and it'll delete the steps that it tracks during that activity. So personally, I tried this on a day. I tracked when I was driving, my start times, my finish times. When I got out of the car, I said I stopped driving. Now when this becomes a chore, that's when this becomes a dust collector. And that's what happens with this application. That's what's happening with this basic band. Now for me, I wanted it to just be something you put on, you can check it, okay, I've done this, I've done that, let's go, let's go, and I think these expectations are too high. So trying to actually implement all this into the application itself takes away from the band and really makes the band almost useless because you're tracking everything by hand. It's almost like writing it down on paper and you can get an estimate on that just as good as a band that tracks it for you. 
Now, don't get me wrong, this is a great band for someone just needing a little bit of motivation, something to get you going, get you active, get you moving around. You're definitely gonna see that, okay, I need to get moving if you only see like one or two, three bars. I mean, you're not gonna get all the way to the end of the line here just by typing on the computer unless you cheat yourself. The Fitbit Flex is a great way to get motivated, but I think if you're an active person already, or if you do jogging or anything aside from just walking, it's gonna be a little bit of a chore to use this thing to work out. Anyway guys, I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know what kind of band you're using, if you're using one, if you're gonna get the Fitbit Flex, or even let me know if you have one of these, if you're noticing any of these issues. And personally, I'm gonna be out and getting another one of these bands. I'll probably be getting the Nike Fuel Band and see how that one works. So definitely subscribe if you're interested in checking that out. And I will see you guys in the next one.